the Gibson Custom Shop and we're just going to talk to you about some of the stuff that we do when we are hand selecting tops so if you're buying uh, one of our peach guitars special run uh, we've had stuff like um, 60th anniversary uh, 1959 Les Pauls other hand selected 59 Les Pauls and stuff in the past we're also doing some 60s on this particular run we just wanted to kind of show you the the process that we actually go through I mean it's kind of um, it's not that complicated. We just go through big, really big uh, stash of wood that we really like, uh, which is the Eastern Maple, which has a, a specific kind of grain that I particularly like. For me, a lot more reminiscent of the original burst kind of uh, guitars anyway. I, it's what I really like. They do have some other uh, maple from some of their other vendors here, which is kind of a bit more pinstripey, you can see, which again is really, really nice, but I just like to go for the authenticity. Um, or buzzword there for you on some of this uh, some of this stuff anyway so we've got a big pile of eastern maple here we've got three pallets we're going to go through so I would estimate there's probably around about 1200 tops that we're going to go through and we're probably talking about an order of between 50 to 100 guitars so um, yeah so it's a pretty uh, uh, pretty low percentage of the stuff that's really going to make the cut for what for what we really like so um, you know, we don't just come out here to listen to country music and drink loads of uh, Jack Daniels, we do come here to do some work as well, even though there's a little bit of that sometimes. We're going to enjoy ourselves picking through a load of this stuff. This is our good friend Tom Fowl. This is the guy that we uh, we always deal with when we come to Gibson. And you can see Jeff over the back there as well. Hi Jeff! He's not listening. They're blowing off the dust. You know, this is original wood from 1959. This one looks promising. See what I try and do is as well, is see how far the grain goes through. And you can see this one, it's nice on the top, but you're gonna lose a little bit of the, the figuring when the carve goes into the top. And you can see that one, it's nice, but it doesn't really run through the whole way. I mean, it can still make a really great burst, I'm sure, but we just wanna get the absolute best stuff that we can. It's quite a tight, tight pinstripe. I mean, normally I would say probably that wouldn't be for me because it's kind of two pinstripe and a lot of the original Les Pauls weren't really like that. But I know a lot of customers really dig that kind of thing. And you can see this one, the figuring and the, the grain goes all the way through. So it would be a, 
a really good choice when the car goes in. But maybe we can put that into the maybe pile. This looks nice. So what is this guy here? 59. Is this the matching one? Yeah, 59. Kind of too, a little bit too flat, like straight, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I'm always looking for the, you know, the Leroy Parnell. Yeah. That amazing one. From yeah, that, that, I mean, that is, that is great. Great right the way yeah. through as well, like you said. Yeah. But this one just jumps out a lot more, doesn't it, straight away. Mm, it's still not it's great, but... Still not mega, mega wowing. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we'll put that, we'll put that on with our stash there. Thanks, Jeff. Nice, yeah. I'll put that, put him with the maybe. And when you see him down at a different angle, like that as well, that one really pops out. And that one. Maybe the maybe piles. Yeah, it's the, the way to go. Nice. Yeah, we could throw that in as a little wild card, I think. So we're getting through them now. Just a momentary stop there. Get through some nice pieces. Nice. The chevron's going down towards the bottom of the guitar. So what we're gonna do is, is, is pick through 50 or so tops uh, maybe we'll probably go through uh, choose more than that and then go through all of our stuff again just to pick the best of the best from that bunch Here we go, so we've been through about a thousand, maybe 1200 different tops of this Eastern Maple. And this is the best of the best that we've found so far. But we're gonna go through them all again, give them a second look, and uh, put any back, back that just, you know, don't just kind of hit us right between the eyes straight away. I'm just gonna show you a few of these that we've picked out that are gonna, that are gonna be coming back home. So this guy here. Quite a nice, wide flame. And you can see like from this side here, you can see how the grain runs all the way through the top. Which is something that I kind of look for when I'm looking on the big pile of uh, wood on the pallets. That we try and uh, look at these ones that have got nice figuring all the way through there. So this one is definitely one that's not going to be put back. And just seeing it like that, you can see it in a, like a different light again. You can see they look slightly different colors, the tops, but that's just where it might have had some staining on there or it's got some um, dust on there as well, just from, from the, uh, the wood mill. And what they'll do is that will just basically get like a rough, uh, one more quick kind of um, cut across the top just to get rid of all of that stuff. Uh, and then you'll see that the, uh, the color, you know, before it gets turned into a burst, will be a uniform colour between the two. So it's another great one. This is a really exa great example of quite a tight pinstripe flame put on, a, on an eastern maple top. So again, really nice, but if they kind of pass the test when you see them 
at that fairly primitive angle how we're holding it there you know when you put it onto the onto the cart they're really going to pop out as well up next kind of i guess maybe a lot of the stuff that i've picked is pretty similar but it's the stuff that works and seems to be what our customers really dig as well so but i do like a lot of this stuff as well so you can see like the mineral flex in the wood there's kind of little patches of quilt in there as well there's uh you know you can see kind of the the book matching he's done really nice on this one too there were some really nice figured tops here as well but quite quite heavy some of them as well i mean we're going to get a lot of ultralight backs to go with some of these but we just try and make them so they're kind of anywhere between eight and a quarter to just under nine pounds in weight i don't want them to be too light because they lose a lot of that kind of guts that the les pauls are known for so i don't often do kind of a reverse pinstripe top reverse chevron but this one just really has it because book matched really well really nice even grain throughout you can see it there i'll actually put that side up like that you can see it's really nice so everything is all good so far so i think we did pretty well first time around but we're just going to keep going through a few more picking out a few more of these tops making sure we're super happy with them and anything that doesn't pass the uh, the test we don't love it straight away and if we can't make a decision within a few seconds then it goes back on the pile so back for day two top picking at the custom shop we went through a whole bunch of stuff yesterday and we're kind of giving everything um, a second pass through and a fresh set of eyes you kind of get a little bit of flame blindness sometimes when you see all this lovely wood and um, you know we've got so much good stuff here we just want to make sure that we've got the absolute best of the best we're probably going to keep most of it anyway but we just want to make sure we haven't missed anything or perhaps see if there's been any other deliveries of some other stuff come in but we're gonna see what we can come up with we're gonna get photographs of each uh, top and number them as well so uh, if anyone's interested in particular tops everything will be numbered uh, and if you want to get that made into a specific guitar that can be done my plan with all these tops is to spec out you know just fairly standard run 60th anniversary uh, 60s and some 59 models um, but we can use some of these other tops if you want to go something you know a bit more crazy or or something specific to your taste so we're going to start running through some of that now that's it we are done we've whittled it down to 45 tops here um, there was about maybe maybe 60 65 that we we'd got got it down to yesterday but this is just the absolute best of the best so i think we went through about i think it was just over 1200 tops to get to this many and any all of these eastern maple tops i think any of them if they would just come into stock normally we'd be really pleased with them anyway they're great i mean this is a you know a, a great job and like you know it's great fun for us to come out here and do this kind of stuff but but these are sweet sweet tops and it's going to be um going to be exciting to see them all finished and done and uh yeah so i think these generally take anywhere between three to six months to come in um we'll probably get maybe several drops i guess of 10 or 12 guitars um it's unlikely that all 45 will come but i don't know maybe maybe they will but probably uh probably like i say a few a few different drops but we'll spec them with nice lightweight backs, dark rows with fingerboards, all the kind of uh, the good stuff that everyone wants, uh, you know, with Les Pauls. So 
that's us done. I think we are we are there. Amazing. Good stash. Look at all that. Probably the best selection I've seen. It's great. Total. Beautiful guitars made. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cheers for watching.